Welcome everyone to episode number two of Bob's Pet Farm. Today we are here to build a little doll sheep habitat. Um, this is going to be the baby sheep habitat in which the kids can actually uh, learn something about some little sheep and you know pet them and just be around and uh, I don't know see how they live in here. And today uh, this is again the second episode of this project and maybe now the DLC has dropped who knows or at least you know what the DLC is about and again Again, this is a little reminder this is recorded way ahead of time actually back in February of this year um, so I'm sorry there is no DLC content in here um, simply because I needed to prepare and if everything went to plan or actually worked out as planned and then the little baby is already on the, on this beautiful planet and I'm spending some quality time with my uh, you know, family I should say now with my wife and my little baby um, to take a little break from YouTube um, until I understand how the new everyday life is going to work out. So please bear in mind with me, um, there is no such a thing like DLC content in here. However, if I do have the time to prepare something, you will see this in a different way. I hope you still enjoy this project. I hope you still enjoy the efforts I put into. If you do, please let me know in the comments down below. I might at least uh, read the comments and reply to them um, because, you know, chilling on the sofa with a little one in my arms, hopefully uh, this will be the idea. Um, then I can answer some comments. However, in here, we are today building a little bit further ahead into the project. And again, I'm super excited to bring it to you because it was so much fun to build this. So much cool new things I learned, so much cool new little items I built and um, yeah, it's just something completely different. It's not a normal zoo. It's it's a farm. You know, you can go a bit more free, freestyle, free form. You can do things in a, in a different way than you you would do them uh, when you have like a zoo. It's all from the style a little bit more um, countryside, and I don't know. It it just really turned out to be a lot of fun building this and uh, yeah you can see I was building this little fence type over here as like a little opening um, the gutter is going to be opened here then we have like some little things that um, like iron bars that keep it together it's just yeah, not too crazy. Um, and then obviously we needed to put the pathing down. And pathing is again something that will be pretty interesting in this project. Um, I wanted to try to make most of it, well invisible is, is exactly what I want to do. Um, you know, as a, as a farm like that, most likely never has like a pavement or, you know, like a concrete path. It's most likely natural pathing. And this is again what I wanted to do. Uh, so yeah, there are also, I, I got to say, since I know how the project ends, there is so much I still want to do. Um, and depending on the success and the enjoyment that you guys take out of the, of the series, I can't even imagine to go on after those 12 episodes. I mean, it's wrapped up now in a way it is. Um, but there are still so many ideas I have. Like along the way, I learned so many things that I would love to do because you can't really do them in a zoo, but you can do them with animals in general. Um, so like, you know, there are some little ideas I still have, um, even though we don't have the animals in the game yet to use this, but uh, I don't know, there are just so many things I would love to see. But yeah, um, this is... Um, Episode number two only, so there's still a way ahead um, that we have to do some stuff, and uh, I, yeah, there's some cool stuff coming, I, I tell you, um, especially next episode will be kind of cool, next episode will be the, I think one of the only episodes that doesn't even feature an animal, but I'm still, I'm still very excited for the next one, because it has been something so different, uh, and rather unique that I, yeah, I just liked it, the way it is, and yeah, um, also what I kind of feel like is kind of cool is that the, the timing of this series is pretty cool in terms of the seasonal impact it has because we have spring and I think a farm on spring or in spring is pretty much cool because I like I think autumn and spring are most like the coolest uh, seasons in a farm because in spring you have all the animals starting to mate and you know um, the, the the nature is starting to bloom and everything is like uh, very colorful and very cool and you have the first like you have the breeze of summer coming in already and then it's still cold at night so you have all these little glimmering um, coolness of the water in the I don't know if the English word of it but if, if it's cold outside in 
the night and then in the morning it starts warming up you have this little water droplets on on top of the foliage and so on it's um it's it's not icing but it's it's kind of something like that you know freezing frozen stuff on it um if you guys know the, the word for it please let me know in the comments um and since i'm re recording this way ahead of time please remember me which word i was looking for because i i totally forget that uh but yeah never mind uh, as i said last episode already this is um, where we put the stuff buildings in and this will be hidden away as best as possible. I mean, we still need these stuff buildings to make it somewhat operational, uh, which it is at the end. So I'm quite happy um, that we can do this already. So yeah, uh, a full, full throttle ahead. We are building a nice farm. I can tell you guys, this is going to look fantastic. I am, again, um, I started doing this project in December of 2020 and I... I kind of squeezed this in whenever I had a little bit of time and I, I tried to build this um, still with all the other projects running because again I, have, <clears throat> I haven't had told you that I will become daddy so uh, I, I couldn't really find another argument for not doing too much of the other projects and I needed to squeeze that in where it was possible just to you know not give it away and usually as I love to do it, I want to give you always teasers of a new project, but this project over here I couldn't tease because it was too obvious. Um, but now as uh, as the news were out, I think maybe I have given you a glimpse of it. Maybe I haven't, I don't know. Um, uh, because I am again recording that quite early on so that everything is already uploaded and because you never know if a baby decides to uh, join us earlier, um, which we don't really have full control of, uh, it might be that this has to be ready earlier than I thought. So I'm working quite a little bit in advance. Um, I'm doing this in two goes. So this is the first recording go today. Um, the next one will be a couple of weeks later. Um, so I don't know, maybe I do still do some tweaks. Maybe I don't. don't. I have no idea. I'm, I'm just like taking this a little bit more, <sighs> yeah, free and loose and yeah, just just a bit more just enjoying what I did over here and I also try to find some music that supports this um, for like a farm and just uh, the positive vibes and just everything I don't know I, I don't know about how you think about this but maybe this is a great topic for the comments today what do you connect to a farm do you have specific uh, memories of a farm visit in the in the past do you have specific things that uh, come to your mind when you think about baby animals pet animals pet zoos i don't know um or do you have anything else to talk about in terms of your childhood when it comes to animals i think this is a very cool topic to talk about in general so please let me know in the comment section down below uh, if there is something special uh, you remember i do certainly have this We've been to holidays when I was smaller to a farm for like a week and I just enjoyed it so much because like I learned so much about uh, the nature, how I love the nature, how I how I just um, enjoy being with animals and the nature and stuff like that. So this is something you just get to used to or get used to when you do it. Um, you can always say, well, I do like animals, but this never really, um, uh, you, you can't actually say it um 100 uh, sure if you haven't experienced it you know uh, you can obviously think you would but you you can't be sure of a certain until you have really experienced that and i certainly did experience this and it was a great experience and um this is something i really love to remember uh it's great memories and the same goes actually also for some zoo trips obviously but um the farm was something different in the mountains and you know just just this uh, there's still like a feeling i can uh, i can kind of try to re remember and then get it into my stomach so to say uh, of how nice this was and the smell of uh, freshly mown um, grass fields and plains and that was that was beautiful anyhow so let's jump over in the real time part for today i'm going to show you how this little sheep area turned out to be looking enjoy all right, real-time part of episode number two of Bob's farm, or Bob's pet farm. We are here, and you can see um, this is the fi finished build of uh, our little, um, you know, I, I want to call it goat, but it's a doll sheep. Mm. And this is the doll sheep little area, and oh my god, I'm so happy with how that turned out. It is basically here um, to the end of our roundabout. It's kind of very close to what that is. I won't uh, imagine you come in here with a car, and then you just can, you know, rotate around, drop off your wonderful wife and the kids and then you know daddy is going to search for a parking spot and then come over because that's how it always is okay the the man has to go while everyone else just being brought to the space where they are um 
But yeah, now we are here and you can see um, this is the little area we created and I think, you know, um, it really is exactly how I wanted to create it. <laughs> I love that. So um, you can see they are living around here. I will, to the end, I will get out the parents and we only have the baby uh, goats in here. Uh, no, not goats, but doll sheep. But they look like goats, so this is why um, I want to have the small ones in as well. Uh, so yeah, just in general, uh, I love the building. It's uh, It looks cool. I'm not gonna lie, it looks cool. And then to the back, we, we still have it open. Um, this is something I'm, I'm not quite sure what to do with. Uh, I will have done something in the end, um, but uh, yeah, there's there's more about this. We can we can still do more about this, but uh, for the moment, um, all that matters is the front and how that looks. And I'm I'm quite happy, honestly, because uh, well, we got a baby. This is not really useful because this is <laughs> this is obviously a save file from way back in the time, um, and you know that doesn't translate into new ones. But I, you know, I also love this little drinking spot over here with the concrete in the ground. This is something new. I haven't done this uh, previously. I love, oh god, the sound is just so happy over here. It's like, uh, with the hooves on, on the concrete. I mean, I love the sound. I love how they did the sound. And I love it even more because I've been to the Frontier office where they created these sounds. And I, I, I always see the one man sitting down on the ground creating those sounds and you would not believe how they did this. It's really cool. I have a vlog actually on my uh, channel if you're interested. Um, just just do like a vlog um, from Frontier office visit. This is this, this should bring you there. Um, very cool how they did this to be honest. Oh my god, look at this one. Just storming here to drink something. Uh, but yeah, this is this is this area. Um, I love it a lot. It's, it's looking rather cool and I really hope you guys enjoyed this build today as well. And uh, again, let me know in the comments down below if you liked it let me know by clicking the like button if you've not subscribed yet for whatever reason do so uh, this wonderful project is appearing every saturday and every wednesday for the next five weeks at least um so uh, be here be there enjoy it it's gonna be great and i thank you guys so much stay safe everyone and i talk to you in the next one